What is going on? Welcome on to another video. This is a tip video on something that drastically changed my scores. I started hitting so much lower. Uh, I'm hitting a lot straighter. I'm hitting more greens. I'm hitting closer to flags. I'm hitting more fairways. Pretty much the whole entire package has gotten so much better since I started applying this technique. And it's not very complicated technique, so this video isn't going to be very too long. But it's something that I think is very important. Now, let me just caveat this. This isn't going to work for everybody, but give it a try because you'll probably be surprised on how good it works for you. And I'm going to explain exactly why this works. So, as always, all I ask is like and subscribe. So do not forget to hit that subscribe button and notification button so that way you get all my live streams when I go live. I'm going to start doing a lot more of my round one, round two, three, and four. Also, if you guys really enjoyed that Q&A that I did on Saturday where you guys can hop into my live stream, I'll play a couple rounds and you can ask whatever questions you want. And essentially, I can give you like tips and uh, whatever you need to make your games better personally, kind of like a, a lesson type ordeal. Uh, it was a really good one. We were talking about the update, so could definitely go check that out. It happened on Saturday. So let's dive right into it. I don't want to make this introduction any longer than it actually is. So a lot of people live and die. So the swing has changed this year. So last year, the top of the backswing was like just about your ear. Right here was the top of the backswing in 2K21 if you played that game. This year, the top of the backswing is above your head. So it's a little bit longer. So what does that do? It means that you're pulling back on the stick even longer or you're holding it more at the bottom even longer. So what does that cause for me? That caused a huge problem because it caused like a loop in my swing. It also caused a lot of inconsistencies. So my slightly fast and my slightly slows were going way offline. My meters haven't been as straight uh, in the beginning of this game. And everything, like there's a little loop in the bottom there and I'm, I'm missing greens and I'm struggling because I'm trying to hit top of the top of the backswing because that's what... 100% should be. Now that was 102%, but even if I wanted to hit 100%, you have to hold it at the top of the backswing for like a millisecond. And you can see here, like I'm, I'm still hitting 102, but it's just like there's a fine line and I'm missing greens in regulation and it was killing me because that may not seem like a big miss, but when you're playing on some of the courses in the kinetic division, in the pros, the pro divisions, the elite, the platinums, the higher levels, it becomes a massive difference because some of these greens are very difficult. And if you're missing by three feet to the right, three yards to the right, three yards to the left, your ball could either be from a birdie opportunity all the way to a double bogey spot, possibly rolling into a spot that is unplayable. So it's something that I really had to work on and it's something I had to completely change. So what did I do? Well, essentially, I just went back to 2K21. I try to live somewhere between the 93% and the 97% range, and I don't try to hit 100% swings anymore. Now, you're probably not going to like that because a lot of people love to live and die at the 102%, and a lot of people like to say, well, how do you know your distance control at that point? To be honest, I have a high transition, so I the distance is all pretty close and similar to itself, plus I play into account for that. So if I know that I'm going to be like a yard or two short, possibly if I hit the 93% compared to the 97%, then I make sure that there's room for that. But essentially, so what I do is I just pay attention to my golfer. I, I look at my shoulder, and when I get to just about my ear to my shoulder is when I do my downswing. And what that has done for me is it's shortened my, my backswing here on the stick, and it's uh, pretty much made my swing a lot more consistent. And I've also noticed my misses are a lot better. So right there is a slow, and look, before we are out by that sign, and now we are pretty much still right at the center of the green, maybe a couple feet right, 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 right of the target. Um, but before, that was the same exact swing, pretty, pretty similar meter, and I was all the way out to the 200 yard, and these are right in the middle here. Obviously, I'm not aiming all the way for the green. This is more about accuracy, not about distance right now, but... Like there's a perfect, but it's not the best meter, right? But it's still, it's in play. It's not way out to the right, and it's still keeping it a lot closer. Now, that was probably on the worst end of my meters. So essentially, that's pretty much all I'm doing here is uh, I'm just not taking it back as far. 
I try to live in a little bit of a shorter range, a little bit more of a controlled space, and I try to make sure that I'm not over swinging. And the ball is just flying a lot straighter. These are fasts and these are slows, and the ball is just going a lot straighter. That was 98%, so it's a little bit outside the threshold that I like to live in, but it's a fast swing that went dead straight. Now, if I go back to a 100 or 102 percent, and I swing fast, that wasn't a good meter. That's not a good example, but you see how far off line these are going. There's a perfect one, but even still, my perfect one is still slightly out to the right, and I didn't miss that meter by that much, but I had a loop in the swing that causes these to go off line. So it's something that that it's just. I have much straighter meters with these and the ball just flies and I'm not really missing it by that much. These are still pretty much going the same distance. You can see here, but like that is massively different. I don't need to keep on hitting these, but you guys can see there that the meters are a lot straighter for me. The consistency is a lot better for me. And I, I'm just, I hit the ball so much better when I do these shots. And it's something that I think you guys should definitely test out. It's something that drastically helped my approach game. Uh, I have a lot more consistent a lot more straight and narrow, hit a lot more greens and regulation. So give it a try, shorten your swing. Don't be so um, into the, the meta of hitting 103s, 106s, trying to hit the ball as far as possible because when you're hitting your irons, you wanna be as straight as possible, hitting your numbers, leaving yourself in a position where you can hit good putts. So I hope this guy's helped. I hope this helps, let me know down in the comments section if you give it a try and it's something that helped you out but it's something that drastically helped me out and it's something that i encourage you to at least test out to see if it can help you thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe catch you later